Hey there, my name is Luke and I'm going to make a little bit of a different video today and talk about a growing issue, social media and our wilderness parks. We've all been on Instagram and seen a photo of a beautiful location and said, I'm going there. Be it a photo of a waterfall, a natural hot spring, a winding mountain road, someone camping on the top of a summit. These photos are being shared more now on social media than ever before. And more people are visiting parks. In 2015-16, a record 24 million people visited BC parks. Stephen Jones says this was significantly more than they had forecast and puts an incredible amount of strain on the park system. Interest in the backcountry has increased every year and social media is playing a role. And this year is Canada's 150th anniversary. So Parks Canada is giving away a discovery pass. So every single national park is free to visit across our country from coast to coast. I predict more visitors to national parks than ever before in 2017. What effect will this have on our national parks? Will they be able to keep up with the amount of visitors? Will a lottery style system be introduced in Canada, like in California's insta-famous Yosemite Valley? where now only 225 day hike permits to climb the 4,800 feet up to the top of Half Dome are available for each day of the hiking season. So if you don't win the lottery, but you hike up the top of Half Dome anyway, you can face a fine now of up to five grand. Five grand, that's crazy. And there are drawbacks to increasing crowds. These delicate natural sites are unable to accommodate large crowds. And then we start talking about disrespect and vandalism and pollution. And not to forget the safety and sustainability of wild animals in our parks coming into deadly human contact. But are visitors the number one threat to our parks? Faisal Mula, Director National of the David Suzuki Foundation, disagrees. The threats are the impact of climate change and the unbelievable amount of infrastructure and development happening within and on the borders of the national parks. And he goes on to say, it's through experiences that we fall in love with nature. And if we fall in love with nature, we're going to be much more willing to actually fight for nature. So there is a positive side to all these people visiting parks. People are probably and very likely falling in love and willing to protect our parks and wilderness places. I'm finding it's becoming more and more difficult to get away from the hordes and find unique places that aren't visited by thousands of people every year. What do you think the effect of Instagram is having on our wilderness parks? Have you noticed the same when you go out for a hike or go camping in the backcountry? What do you think about the future of parks going forward? So I hope you enjoy this different style video and I'd like it to start a discussion. So if you have a story of a personal experience or anything to add, just leave that in the comments and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. It's always an adventure. See you next time.